This is to show you how to take a PowerPoint presentation and make it into a video, then convert it to a MP4 video file. So the first thing I'm going to do is point out I've created my PowerPoint. At this point, I'm going to click on File because my goal is for me to be able to save it as a video. When I get to this screen, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click Save and Send. And if I look over to the right side, I see where it says Create a Video, so I click it. Over to the right, I'm going to keep the default for computer and high definition displays. I don't want to use narration timings, and I want to change the five seconds between each slide so that when it's automatically playing, there's only three seconds, and now I'm going to click Create Video. At this point, I'm going to tell it to save it on the desktop, and I'm going to leave the file name as is and click Save. On the bottom, I can see that it's verifying that it's in the process of making that video. And while we're waiting, what I would recommend that you do is make sure that you have already downloaded Movie Maker. I've downloaded it and I've installed it, and right now it's open. And the video is created, so I'm going to close PowerPoint. On the desktop, I see that the video file is here, so I'm going to open up Movie Maker. And now that Movie Maker is open, the only thing I'm going to do at this point is add in the videos. So if I look at the top home tab, I'm going to click add videos and photos. I'm going to select the desktop and I'll move my um, scroll bar down so that I can select the video that I created with PowerPoint and I'm going to click open. At this point, I get this message telling me that Movie Maker is preparing my files. So I have to wait until this green bar is actually complete. And at this point, I have the ability to now go in and click on the drop down arrow. And I'm going to save the movie. In this particular case, I'm going to save it for high definition display. So I'll click it. And you'll notice that it's asking for a file name. So I'm going to say PowerPoint movie and it's saving it as a mp4 so I'm going to place it on the desktop I'm going to click save and while it's actually doing the save process the bottom line is you can now take it now that it's mp4 you can do what you want with it and uh, once this process is complete we'll verify it's an mp4 file and we will have had success and I also want to say that please note that the length of time it takes depends on how large the file is for the video. And so I'm going to close out of Movie Maker. I'm not going to save this um, particular file. So what I'm going to do is hit close here and I'll minimize this. And I can see at this point that if I right click on this file and select properties, I can see that that's the mp4 file and then to play it, I'm just going to double click it and at this point I can see that it is actually a nine second file and I'm going to click on play and it's going to start the process of playing it and advancing from one slide to the next I've had success and so will you